If you've had your thyroid checked, it's likely that you've had your TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, and your thyroxine T4 checked, but it's unlikely that you've had T3 checked, which is actually the most biologically active form of thyroid hormone, and you need T4 to turn into T3. So there are different things that can get in the way of that T4 into T3 conversion, and stress is a really big one. During times of stress, we can actually start to make reverse T3, which is a form of thyroid hormone that our body basically can't use. We can also start to interfere with the amount of TSH we make because of high levels of cortisol, again, making our thyroids really be impacted by stress. Another thing that can impact your thyroid is elevated estrogen levels. High levels of estrogen can come from lots of different sources, things like fibroids or lower levels of progesterone. Either way, the higher levels of estrogen can be associated with difficulty from converting your T4 into that important T3. Other things that can contribute to that difficulty with T4 and T3 are nutrient deficiencies. There are lots of different nutrients that the body needs in order to convert T4 into T3, and a deficiency in even one of these areas can make it difficult for your body to do that job. Lastly, something to think about is immune dysfunction. There's a core mode condition called Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune uh, disease with the, within the thyroid. If you have Hashimoto's, the body is essentially attacking the thyroid mistakenly and causing difficulty for the thyroid to function. It's really important that if you do have any issues with the thyroid, you understand firsthand if you have any issues with autoimmunity, as the approach to manage either side is very different and you want to make sure you're being really safe.